Okay, so what is the situational analysis portion of the marketing plan? Well, basically understanding your situation or the market current market characteristics is instrumental in your ability to carry out your marketing objectives. So to start with, you're going to be introspective and do what you've already done in the in different phases of uh, the business development. You're going to look at uh, your SWOT analysis. You're going to do a strength, weakness, opportunities, and threat analysis to see what are your strength and, strengths and weaknesses with regard to your objective and purpose of um, of the marketing plan of, of what you're trying to do with your marketing efforts. Once you understand this, you'll move outside and you'll start looking at market characteristics, uh, which means you're going to look at your competitors. You're going to try to figure out their characteristics, their strengths and weaknesses. You're going to look at the number of them overall. How many people are you competing with? Uh, what's the market size that they're playing in? Okay, because again, the percentage of the market that you are able to capture, which is a key metric for your marketing objectives or your total number of clients brought in, uh, that is going to be relevant uh, to the existing market size and how much of a market share these other competitors have because in many cases you're going to have to steal market share from them. Okay, your product or service may not be expanding the market. It may be that you're competing in a given market set and you're going to have to steal a share from those customers. So understanding that, the competitiveness of the market. What's the competitive position? What is it that differenti differentiates or sets apart the other competitors from yourself? Understanding their value proposition for the customer is equally uh, as important as understanding your own because that's going to determine how you market and how you uh, make customers aware of your product, service, or brand in a way that uh, sets you apart from the existing uh, competitors. So again, you're focusing on uh, strength, your strengths and weaknesses compared to others. So you're trying to understand those same uh, factors about everybody. Ultimately, this will help you understand the level of market demand, how you're going uh, or and will help you or will provide you the information you need to develop a plan to grab that percentage or portion of the market that exists out there. Uh, you can project about future demand levels, which can help you make the determination of feasibility of, of um, going after a given market segment. Um, and, and then it will help you making decisions immediately as far as how you address your current, uh, your current market demographic and segments.